Ready?
Vivi? <laughs> it's got to be. <laughs> I'm like the only person I know that would pick up rocks. How are you doing? Wow. Very nice to finally meet you. Nice to Terry. meet you too, Terry. I'm Very Lena, nice to meet you. My daughter Mia. Hello. Isn't it nice right oh, now? Oh, it is absolutely so gorgeous. Nice. It feels good finally. It is gorgeous out here right now. Can I take a picture of you? This is so cool. If you would like, that's up to you. Yeah, yeah. Is this where I suck in my gut? Uh oh. <laughs> um, hey, I'm working on it. No, this is Look awesome. Here. It's fun. Yeah. So, did the uh, loop de loop uh, this last weekend. It was 32 miles. Oh, wow. So. I wish I could, I mean, I need to start riding my bike. But, like, I've been working a lot lately, and so I noticed that even when I go on my walk, like, by the time I go around, it's already dark. Oh yeah. So I don't have any, re I need to get like reflectors or whatever, I need to get stuff so that people can see. Yeah, me. something would be good. I yeah. I don't know how many people I pass by at night. I mean, I'm lit up, but right. I see some people when I go by that have nothing. And I don't see right. them until I'm right up on them. Exactly, exactly. So I don't want to be one of those people. So I wanna, I'm like, I need to, well, you normally get off to work at 4. And if, when I get off at 4, then I can do it. But right. like, lately I've been working overtime. So like, oh, yeah. this is around the time I've been walking. And it's like, I want to ride my bike. But it's like, ah, uh, I don't want to ride in the dark. I agree. <laughs> and then my husband's like, you don't trust me because I'm still like, you know, I'm still new at it. So mm -hmm. I, I fall down and stuff. And so he's like, you can't go by yourself. You can't be trusted. <laughs> which is true. you got to make sure you're careful. Yeah, which Safety is, true. is first. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm all about safety. I, if I've got enough lights to be able to, if you can't see me coming down the road, yeah. you do not need to be behind the wheel. Exactly. And and I've had a couple close calls, usually when people are pulling out mm -hmm. as I'm coming by, because they're either misjudged distance or they do that rolling stop. Okay, yeah. And I mean, I'm glad this brake works very well, oh, but yeah. still it's kind of a... It's dangerous. Yeah. And then I hear it because, you know, we do DoorDash at night. Oh, yeah. So all the time we have the radio on and there's all these people all, all the time, every night, oh, hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. I'm like, oh, my God. I know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just had one of the people on Strava posted that somebody drove through a pathway. Oh, wow. Um, it went right through the, uh, I don't know if I still got the picture of it. Um, You know what I think it is, is, and I understand that they don't have a whole lot of street lights here because, you know, they want the stars to shine or whatever is what I've been told. But I'm like, they need more street lights. Yeah. They need more, like, you know, we need more lights because when it's dark out here, it is super pitch dark. Oh, That's yeah. Anything. We drove through the pathway. Oh, wow. As in up over the rocks, everything, and all through the pathway. Right now, that Daytime. was, I think, in Phoenix, but still, it's like... That's it's, crazy. There's at least one a day that I'm hearing that somebody either got hit on the bike, got sideswiped, uh -huh. or came way too close to, to right. an accident. Um, he was, that was right in front of him. You know what's crazy is this kid just, he drove his, wait, was it this one or the other one here? No, the other one. The other little bridge over there? Yeah. This kid, I don't know what happened, he lost control of his car and he went, zoop. Out to the edge right there, oh, no. into the bottom, and was upside down. His car was upside down. And I happened to walk by, like right, like right after that happened, and I wanted to take a picture of like the upside down car, but yeah. I couldn't because the cops were there. Oh yeah. And so then, but I thought to myself, oh my god, if I would have just was been, that just a couple weeks ago? Mm -hmm. If yeah. I would have been, I was like, riding just, that night, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and the were. cops were there. Yeah. Yeah, you were. Yeah. So I thought to myself, oh, it's been, like, ten minutes earlier. Oh yeah. Where, would have like ran me over, yeah, or very anybody, close to anybody it. walking by, like you just don't know. Uh -huh. he, you know he, he said there was a bug in his 
car and he was trying to get, I don't know, get rid of it and he lost control of the car and ended up upside down in the ditch. The first thing I would have done was hit the brakes, but... Well, yeah, pull over. Yeah. Pull over. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, like I'm allergic kid. to bees and I've got uh -huh. EpiPens, but if a bug flies into the vehicle, there's ways to stop it before right. going over it and embankment. Well, I know. So that tells me you were going too fast exactly. to begin with. Exactly. He was yeah. probably going too fast and then realized there was a bug in my car and freaked out and mm -hmm. then ended up I'll give him benefit down. of the doubt because you can't trace <laughs> it unless you caught it, you know. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's, I've just seen too many people too fast. Exactly. What I get is that this is a good white path. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, on the actual pathway that goes around the uh, Juan Batista path or the... Uh, the Huckleberry Loop, yeah. they go this full wide, so it includes this gutter part oh, okay. on each side. Oh, nice. So I've got plenty of room, but I'm not that far from the edge, mm -hmm. I've only got a little bit of room. There's areas where it goes like this. Oh, it gets real sense. narrow, and I'm yeah. like, uh. okay, because I've had cars, you know, and some people believe that because there's a line there, they can go right on the edge of the line. Mm. It's like, the law still says you have to give three feet, right. but... A people lot of people, don't, yeah. They don't follow the law. Mm -hmm. so careful. I am. Yeah. I, I record all my rides, so I, I have some safety to it. Okay. You know, I post them all on YouTube. So they're, uh, that's why I start printing the QR code on the back of this. Oh. I've had a lot of people start going to it, and it's like, yeah, I show the paths, I show the ways, I show where people can ride, right. where it's safe, where it's available. But there's a lot of people who will. Or they're not paying attention. Exactly. Or they're trying to take the camera shot as they go by. And it's right. like, okay, I understand you want to see the bike. That's fine. And I've had people, can I take a picture? Sure, right. go right ahead. But stop. Right. Don't do it while you're driving and do this number going. Exactly. Because then you're doing this number going back. Exactly. Yeah. It's dangerous. It is. So you yeah. enjoy yourself. Absolutely. Enjoy yourself. Nice That's meeting you again. That's I saw you start reaching for the, bike, for the rocks and I'm yeah, like, you know it's got to be. It's got to be. I was like, okay, puppy's not with me. I better, I better announce myself. All right, have Very a nice day. meeting you. Nice meeting you also. Have a safe night. Evening. Thank you. That's all. Awesome. Thank you, folks.
pulling too hard. Yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry about that. It happens quite a bit. We're not quite sure where to take effect of it. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I just didn't want to surprise you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you.